In today's CCTV America Inside, a find that's being called historic, not to mention prehistoric. It happened in a park in the U.S. state of Utah back in 2009. Believe it or not, a high school student found what scientists are calling a huge discovery. Kevin Terrace spotted the youngest and most complete fossil skeleton of an iconic dinosaur species. Kevin's find was airlifted out of the area and is now getting the royal treatment in another state. Kevin is a college student now at Montana State University. We have tracked him down for his first television interview. We will talk exclusively with him in just a minute. But first, we want to learn more about Kevin's discovery and its significance to the scientific community. Not to mention the fact that it's pretty darn cool. Yekenda McGahee takes a closer look. The western U.S. is a really great place to find fossils. Those petrified remains of ancient beasts who roamed this land over 150 million years ago. We have a lot of mountains, a lot of deserts that have exposed rocks, and a lot of those rocks are the right age of rocks to find fossil dinosaurs. Funny he mentions age, because that's what makes this story so significant. Some would say historic. No, not just the age of the rare fossil found. This is the skull of the baby Parasaurolophus. But also the age of the fossil finder. And at the Raymond Alk Museum of Paleontology in Southern California, they have a philosophy. No one's too young to find something millions of years old. This is the only nationally accredited museum in the world that's on a high school campus. The museum has about 150,000 specimens. And they have a paleontology program that immerses students in the study of dinosaurs, from examining fossils to prospecting them. It's called prospect. There are in places ways. like Escalante National Monument in Utah. We take these students out there, and because it's, you know, it's not been very well searched before, you can find some really cool stuff. And boy, did they ever. While prospecting in 2009, a protruding piece of something caught the curious eye of 17-year-old student Kevin Terrace. I looked at it, and I didn't think it was really anything that significant. It looked almost like the end of a rib fragment. And while it looked insignificant, Dr. Andrew Fark knows looks can deceive. And I pick it up, and I turn it over, and there's a dinosaur skull staring back at me. So on one side of the rock, we have the skull. On the other side of the rock, we have the toes. That means there's a whole dinosaur in between. Not just a complete dinosaur skeleton, Elvis. but a rare one that would take an entire year to dig up and airlift out. This was an absolutely unique find. No one has ever found a baby skeleton of this kind of dinosaur. And no one has ever found a skeleton, a adult or baby, of this dinosaur, Parasaurolophus, as complete as this one. Paleontologists say the duck-billed Parasaurolophus walked the earth about 75 million years ago. And though they say it's a close relative of the bird, it has a horn that closely resembles a ram. But instead of a means of defense, experts say it was used as a method of communication. The hollow-like horn emitting a trombone-like noise. That sounds a little something like this. Or this. But scientists say this dinosaur, known as Baby Joe, likely couldn't blow his undeveloped horn. Experts say Joe was just an infant, a young male with so much life to live. Seems the same could be said for the California teenager who's made a scientific contribution far beyond his youth, surpassing the accomplishments of far more experienced paleontologists. Yekenda McGahee, CCTV, Claremont, California.